My base has got a dodgy connection inside it, so I'm going to try and fix it. You're watching Nerd on the Wire. So I was uh, playing bass for my friend's band the other night, and I realised that uh, when I turned the amp on, it sounded like this. So there's a uh, some kind of <laughs> some kind of horrible connection going on in there. So I'm gonna open it up and see if I can find out what the problem is and fix it. I'm just gonna loosen the. Uh strings off a little bit to make it easier to get the pit guard off. Pit guard? Whatever it's called. The, anyway, to get, the, <laughs> to get the front off the base. Now I'm just going to uh, unscrew some of the screws that are holding it in place. Quick tip, I've just pulled out this screw which is quite a bit longer than all of the uh, other screws. So uh, if you uh, come across the same thing then just remember where the long screw is from, uh, put it in a different pile. Sounds stupid but uh, worth doing. So once you've got all the screws taken out you can then just kind of lift this out, kind of slide it out sideways without catching it on the strings and uh, yeah you should then be able to see the inside of your base. So I don't know whether you can see this but um, if I push the jack in all the way, we get loads of noise. But if we have it just here, it actually sits kind of just right. So you can see that that's kind of how it wants to sit. But when you push it all the way in, um, it's, uh, it's not in the right place anymore. So I'm going to have a think if I can uh, just see if I can think how to make it so that the jack sits in the right place. So I'm going to use this adjustable spanner to, um, well you just put it to the right width of the uh, nut uh, and then I can undo this and once you've sort of undone it a little bit you can just do it with, by hand and see there's a washer in there, ideally um, if I can just get a another one of those or another two of those or something I could just kind of pad it out slightly and that might fix the problem uh, and have a think. So as luck would have it I've got a, uh, a spare jack socket thing here where I don't actually need <laughs> the jack socket part of it but if I uh, loosen this off uh, it's got a little rubber washer in here which I think might just do the job. So I'm going to cannibalize this and future me can worry about the fact that this one no longer has a washer on it. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to put the jack socket back through. This time I'm going to put the uh, new rubber washer on there. Doesn't look very elegant, but then it's... Yeah, okay, well, let's see if it works first. in. It looks from this angle like a better fit than before, so that's pushed all the way in. That's good. Okay, now let's try turning on the amp and see what happens. Good, no crackles. No crackles. That, I mean it, that's a lot better than it was. I think I'm going to put everything back together, give that a little play and uh, see what it feels like. So remember if you've got any uh, different length screws, put the long ones back in first so you remember where they go. Uh, and I'm just going to put in um, like two or three screws just so it's vaguely held in place and then I'm going to give it a play because if I have to do any more adjustments it's going to be uh, kind of annoying to take the whole thing apart again. Okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> I tried plugging it in and it was, if anything, worse than before. <laughs> so, um, maybe it wasn't the problem, the thing I was trying to solve before. Um, but now I'm looking inside the jack and it looks, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, it's refusing to focus. But 
um, yeah, it's kind of like minging on the inside of the jack. So I'm going to see if cleaning up the inside of the um, jack socket is going to um, make it any better. So I'm now trying to scrape out some of the uh, sort of stuff from inside inside here. Uh, <laughs> I've tried a few different tools. This is what I'm going for at the moment. It's uh, um, it's one of my sort of electronics tools, not quite sure, it's a, a sharp thing on the end of a stick basically. So I'm just going to scrape around in here and see if I can get some of this stuff off. Okay, so scraping out didn't really work, so in the end I got some uh, vinegar and just some uh, kind of kitchen roll and sort of rolled it up so it could fit inside here. And you just kind of, yeah, sort of soak this in vinegar, and sort of squish it around inside there, um, and then just sort of try and keep rub off as much of the stuff using the, as much of the sort of rusty bits using the um, vinegar on the kitchen roll as you can um, and I've just tried plugging it back in and it seems to be working so uh, let's try putting it back together and see if we fixed it. So I've uh, put the front back on, plugged it in and it's working absolutely great. It's so Sounds, yeah, sounds fine. You can move the bass around, you can even wobble the jack around, and it, yeah, it doesn't cause any rumbles or any bad noises at all. So it's, uh, yeah, just a really fun playing bass now. <laughs> um, but it's, um, yeah, so yeah, if you've got like a kind of uh, crackly, noisy jack, then take the front off, have a look inside, see if there's any obvious problems. Um, but yeah definitely get some vinegar out to try and uh, you know, get the get the rust and stuff off the inside and see if that helps um, yeah hope this video has helped someone uh, see you soon